This video demonstrates how you can record scheduled data into resource user fields in Synchro. In the first example, we will use Synchro script to record the most recent task status of each 3D resource in our project as a user field value. Let's start by creating a new user field called task status. Let's make sure this user field is a resource user field and the type is set to string. Let's also sort our tasks by sending finish dates so that we get the most recent status when we run our script. Now we can load Synchro script and type the following code. task.resource space assign underscore uf, the name of the user field, the type of the user field, and then the value we wish to assign, which is task.status in this case. Click on preview to make sure everything is correct and then run to execute the code. Now let's go to the resources tab, customize the columns and show the user field task status. The number 3 indicates that the task has been completed, 2 indicates that the task has been started, and 1 indicates that the task is planned but has not started yet. In the second example, we will record the total cumulative number of hours spent on a resource as user field value without using script. Let's start by adding a new task user field called spent hours and making sure the type is set to number. Let's also add a resource user field with the same name and type. Let's customize the columns in the Gantt chart to show the newly created user field. If the Gantt view is set to WBS or Activity Codes mode, make sure to expand all the tasks before the next step. Now we can select all of the tasks and then right click copy tasks as text. We can paste all of what we copied into Microsoft Excel and then select all of the elements in the durations list and then copy that back into Synchro in the spent hours column. Make sure to click paste tasks as text. Scroll through the Gantt chart to make sure everything is correct. Now we can right click on the spent hours task user field and click on copy values to associated objects. Make sure that the destination user field is the resource user field spent hours and that the operation for multiple associations is set to sum. This will add up the spent hours when the same resource is associated to multiple tasks. Click on copy and then OK and now let's go to the resources tab and show the colon for the spent hours. Now that we have this information stored in each resource, we can use it to improve future cost and schedule estimates. We can also use a custom 3D set to visualize where most of the work is being spent. So let's add a custom 3D set, call it custom filter. Then let's set it to filter 3D objects by user fields. And then in the user field section, let's check the box next to spent hours and type in greater than or equal to 40. Now before activating the filter, let's change the color of the filtered objects to solid red and then make the unfiltered objects visible with a transparent light blue color. Now we can activate the 3D set and then use the 3D view to visually identify the resources that require the most effort hours.